Again, as we're continuing this week with this theme of setting our mind on divine things and not human things, I'm continuing today in Matthew chapter 5 and verses 13 to 20. And part of what's at the heart of this pericope or this passage is Jesus saying two things to his hearers. You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. And then in verse 16, our verse for the day, he says, in the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. So part of setting our mind on divine things is literally living our life um, not to bring glory to ourselves, not to enrich ourselves, not for the benefit of ourselves. Uh, we are called to live our life to be salt of the earth. Uh, that is to bring flavor. Um, salt also was used as a preservative back in Jesus' day. It enabled things to stay useful like meat and fish rather than it just rotting in a matter of days. Salt was used to help preserve things that were important and helpful and necessary. And of course, light helps us to see, helps us not to stumble, helps us not to walk into things in the dark and hurt ourselves. And so we are called to be salt and light in the world. And salt and light both impact things by being in proximity to them. Uh, salt, if you are someone who likes, let's just say, fried clam strips, for example, since we live on Cape Cod, well, you can put a salt shaker next to uh, a clam strip and rub a clam strip on the outside of the salt shaker and it's not going to do any good, right? Salt has to get out of the salt shaker to be in close proximity to whatever you want it to flavor. And in the same way, Jesus is saying to us as his followers, you can't be the salt of the earth unless you get out of the salt shaker and into the world and get in close proximity with those who are unchurched and who don't know me. And in the same way, um, it's amazing how even a little bit of light can make a difference in a dark place. Uh, and at the same time, uh, the closer light is to something, the greater it illuminates it. So proximity does help, and just a little bit of light dispels a great darkness. And that, again, speaks to our calling as followers of Jesus. And again, what should our relationship with Christ and what should our faith lead to? Good works. Uh, it doesn't matter what we say, what matters is what do we do? Do we put our faith into practice in a way that people can see it, just like they can see light in a darkened room or space? And again, we don't do good works so that people will say, oh, you're so wonderful. We do good works so that it helps people to glorify God, to see in and to believe in and to trust in and to want to be in relationship with God also because they can see the difference that it's making in our lives and creating a person who is loving and generous and compassionate and kind and full of the fruit of the Spirit. So let your light shine today.